We got it. Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. We are Ding. going to go as quickly as possible through these intros so that we can get right to the meat of the action. I'm going to start first with our social media expert, Mike Spillane. Uh, yeah, hey guys, what's up? Uh, GG, yeah. Um, follow us on Twitter at The Junk Drawer Show, Instagram at The Junk Drawer Show, YouTube at The Junk Drawer Show, and Twitch here at The Junk Drawer Show. You're watching us right now at TikTok at The Junk Drawer Show. And that's pretty YouTube much everything. As well, we have we I, finally have I, that at YouTube. He said YouTube. I said that. Oh, I did well say then YouTube. good job. Um, yeah, and uh, shout out to um, uh, Germany, actually. Uh, they fell out of the Euros today, but during Pride Month, I was really proud of them. They were playing against Hungary, who is a country who's notoriously had anti-LGBT laws passed in their country. Uh, so when they had to play Hungary at home in Germany, they tried to make a statement by lighting up their uh, stadium in rainbow colors. UEFA said no. So literally every other fucking stadium in the country lit, the, lit up as a rainbow and all of their fans came decked in rainbow and pride gear just to say fuck you Hungary and fuck you UEFA for not letting them make a statement. So I love that. Happy Pride at the end of the month, but I wanted to get that in there. Love you guys. Up next, our art master supreme, Carlos. <laughs> Move, I'm gay. Um, hi. Uh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> uh, that's literally been me, Drew, me and Drew the entire month. Um, uh, no, I'm just going to do my usual shout out to Random Encounter Productions. It's the other stream that I play along with. Uh, usually I play with them on Monday nights with their Disasters and Dangers campaign. But they do have content every night of the week, usually. Um, so you can check them out at REPRPG uh, on Twitch and all sorts of social media sites. Um, they're very fun. Uh, they actually do theater of the mind a lot. So this is actually going to be very familiar territory for me that we're going to do. So, um, but yeah, check them out. And you check me out on Mondays. I won't be there this coming Monday, but usually I'm there every few Mondays. So back to you, Pat. Sweet. Josh, what do you got? Cool. Okay. So shout out whiskey. Love you. Uh, shout out <coughs> Justin and Mike for going down memory lane with uh, pickle cat films last week. Uh, podcast will Ooh. be released sometime this week. And lastly, shout out Donovan. Fuck you. Okay. Back to you, Pat. <laughs> Speed run. That was my favorite sequence of shout outs ever in the whole world. Uh, we are going to finish up with last but certainly not least our DM Supreme, Justin. Hello everyone. Uh, shout out to roll 20 for being so beefy that you've made my internet die <laughs> multiple times. Um, yeah. Your dad, John roll 20 is going to have to fucking figure this shit out. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> No, I'd just like to shout out the... Usually I shout out Roll20, but nah, fuck you guys. Um, Is that the new uh, My dad's going to have words. Uh, I'm going... <clears throat> sorry. Shout out to Spectrum. Shout out to um, the usual suspects, David Hemingway, uh, uh, Kev's Lounge, D&D Beyond. You've been an awesome resource. Uh, thank you to everyone who's helped me uh, with the campaign up until this point i'm really excited for what uh you guys helped me with and i appreciate all of you so yeah and back to you pat uh, i would like to shout out my wife who lets me play imagination with you guys every single week that is awesome uh, i appreciate you so much honey i love you uh i would also like to shout out uh nobody else let's fucking do this dice daddy whenever you're ready okay so Last time we were all together, uh, we had Alder and Thok chained amongst these columns of the town square that you had seen. Their mouths sewn shut, surrounded by Druagar and giants, including Flevlog himself, and a newcomer, a man adorned in nothing but onyx, who simply was asking where Queen Anya was. Through some trials, through some uh, hesitation, this man had taken Fox eye and was about to take Alder's hands when Thor, you came down with your mighty hammer and you were face to face with Enya. Both of you sized each other's up. Both of you sized each other up, jabbing at each other until finally Ares just, or Enya <laughs> revealed that he was Ares, that he was the son of your wife and that his father was war incarnate. So, through a brawl, 
Thor, you had fallen. If I remember correctly as well, your brother Loki had fallen. Vok had fallen, and the only person that was left was Alder as a spider biting onto Flevlog's hand. And with that, we'll take it from there. So, Alder, you currently, when you bit into Flevlog's hand, his hand immediately jolts back as you see his left hand go limp. And Enya looks at him and he goes, are you okay? And Flevlog goes, I don't have any feeling in this hand. It'll be fine. <clears throat> As Ares is currently sitting, he has Mjolnir. He's able to lift it. It's very heavy for him, but he's still able to lift. Uh, and he looks at you and he goes, Now, Mr. Druid, I need you to find the queen for me. Can you do that? And, uh... Alder is going to shift out of his wild shape form because he can't really do anything else at this point anyways. And, uh, like, I don't know where she is and I don't have a way to communicate with her, but <laughs> I will do my best. You know what? Tell her to look for the fire in the sky. I'm sure that'll get her attention. I'm going to start walking away and I'm just going to be like fucking fire everywhere. I don't know what the hell he means. So Alter, while you're walking, I need you to make a uh, perception check as you leave the town square from these <coughs> hearing uh, Drugar and the, and the fire giants. And I, I apologize to everybody. Um, I've been sick all week, so I still have a little bit of a stuffy nose and a cough. So I apologize for coughing here and there. Um, uh, 23 on a perception check. Okay, so you kind of make it to halfway through the court before you start feeling your hand getting very warm, your left hand, as you look down and your uh, pointer finger has com been completely severed. Uh, and I'm going to, I guess, try and rip off a piece of fabric from my shirt and try and tie it up and just try just try and get it because obviously I feel like the bleeding's probably going to start coming from there and I, I don't have a whole lot of health to keep myself up okay so go ahead and roll actually and I do have um, I do have a healing potion so I'll go ahead and, and take that real quick so that way I can try and uh, aid myself so go ahead and take that for some points. And then I'm just going to have you roll a medicine check to make sure you can wrap it. Okay. Um, inventory. What do I have as far as healing potions? I know they're in here somewhere. Um, potion of healing. Yeah, just regular one. I have a couple of them. I'm only going to take one, though. Okay. Uh, oh, max max health, 10 points. There we go. There you go. Just so take your 10 points. It. What's that? I said just dip your finger in the potion. Uh, and then actually I did pretty decent on the medicine check. Um, 23. Okay. So you're able to hemorrhage the bleeding. Uh, your finger does stop, but it is a very deep wound. Uh, and you had not seen your finger when you left. So you may have to find a new finger or be, you know, four-fingered, which nothing wrong with. So, I uh, know a guy who might be able to make me a finger. Um, Super finger. Um, Alder, where are you heading off to? I guess I'm going to head towards the um, the the stronghold. I guess where we were the, uh, at before we went back to Falsera. Um, I'm gonna head over that way and see if there's see if Anya's there or see if there's anyone who can get in touch with Anya there and try and. Uh, yeah, try and try and see who how I can get in touch with her. Okay. Hopefully, I don't think there's any other option at this point. So you start trekking out and heading out. You're, I'm sorry, going to the capital, or you're going to the palace? Uh, yeah, where wherever we met up before we went to Thok and I went to Falsera, which was basically kind of like our base. Um, okay. Essentially, 
I guess that was the, the castle or whatever. Right. So <clears throat> it does take some time, and about three quarters of the way there, a very worn, <laughs> worn out, uh, bloodied, but still limping and breathing, uh, Captain Jessica Creed comes up to you, and she goes, "Oh, Alter, you're alive." <sighs> Barely, Creed. Barely. I, last I heard you were down. I, Thor and Loki said that you had fallen. What happened to your finger? Honestly, couldn't tell you. <laughs> couldn't tell you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm laughing. It, it's just hysterics at this point. Um, let's walk and talk. We need to get to the castle. We gotta try and find Anya. What's okay? What's going on exactly? And I'm gonna go ahead. Just you said she looks a little rough for wear, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take um, another one of those healing potions out of my pocket. I'm gonna hand it over to her. Um, so I wish you could take it. And she takes a swig. Go ahead. You can roll for her. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, if I do quite as well. Nope, I did the exact opposite. She gets four points of healing. <laughs> hey, four points is better than no points. <clears throat> yeah, no, I rolled four, two fours on mine. I rolled two ones on hers. Um, so the limp gets slightly better. And she goes, where are Thor, <clears throat> Loki, and, and Thok? Well, last I saw them, uh, Thok had his eye ripped out. And... Thor and Loki are currently down. So, like I said, Fuck. we need to find Queen Anya. We, I don't think it's going to go well, but we gotta find her. Um, Alter, do you know where Valdana is? She is the same place where Brock is, same place where Tiburn is. They're all in the town square together where Thok, Bull, and Loki are. Okay. They Go don't ahead. seem as they're as far mm -hmm. bad as they are, but that's where they're at. Okay. And go ahead and roll an insight check for me. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, 21. 21. When you mentioned where Valdana is, there is a slight sigh of relief but then she gets excited um but you can't tell well you can tell that it's excited because she looks nervous but she doesn't seem <clears> to be <throat> focusing on what you're saying past veldana hmm okay okay so at halfway point she goes um alder finds uh queen anya I have to make a pit stop. We need to get to Valdana. That's okay. So uh, I'm going to need you to help me get to Valdana. Okay. Well, we are dying right now. So I'm going to need a little bit more information from you on that. I need. Okay. I have half of something and Valdana has half of something that I think can save our asses. Please. We need okay. to get to Valdana. At least I have something to go off of. That works. Exactly. Um, okay. Um, and I guess we're off. Okay. And she touches your shoulder and she goes, I have to go on the ship. I'll be back. We'll meet at the town square. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. Okay. And she kind of squeezes your shoulder and smirks and she starts heading out towards the, uh, the boats in the ocean. Something about these Norse folk. They're always so cryptic with everything that they say. <laughs> okay so as you're getting to the capital uh i need loki thok and thor to make wisdom saves i got a five okay uh wisdom save 14 okay oh shit that's just high okay well 15 i rolled a five Okay. Uh, but I will let you know that you do all fail, <clears throat> but that's okay. Cool. The three of you uh, 
familiar with the cold, hard ground, eventually this feeling underneath you becomes almost soft, pillowy. You hear a very quiet <clears throat> breeze in the uh, in your ears and this fresh mountain air hitting your lungs as all of you slowly wake up. Uh, Thok currently has his eye and the three of you are all in this very massive mountain range uh, field. Very long, think like uh, Scotland. Slight fog. And uh, go ahead and make perception checks. Uh, 14. Three. 15. Okay. So, Thor and Thok, you see more towards the west. There is a slightly uh, big rock formation. And Thok, with your slightly higher, you see that there is a figure on top of it. Do I recognize the figure, or is it too far away? Uh, it is too far away currently. Okay. Am I able to move towards it? You can. You can get up, as the three of you are all just kind of looking at each other. You've all retained your memories. There's no ipso facto, super fun, you know, wipe. <laughs> I turn to the two gods, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Dude. I, did, I, we, are we dead? I thought I was dead. I'm pretty I, sure we're dead. I mean, the first few times that I've died, it never felt like this, so... I mean, maybe you finally died the way you were supposed to, and now this is kind of where you live now. You must have You're died with the power of friendship. <laughs> See? He gets it. Perfect. Well, uh, there's that D over there. DM, do Perfect. I recognize this mountain range or field at all? Or... Um, go ahead and roll a history check. Uh, Loki, you can do the same. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that was that's actually pretty good for me. I'll take uh, that. That's a 21. I got a 19. Okay. Brothers. The, <laughs> no, the two of you are kind of familiar with this area. When you were very little boys with your brother, you remember that uh, back in when you were very young, your father used to take you on hunting excursions. Just things to learn about the different doe and deer and uh, to respect animals and to you know kill for not for sport but for necessity and for you know for the positive the positive side of war. purpose you kill for purpose, purpose not yeah pleasure i'm not sure why but this reminds me of and i and i turned to look at thor yeah father. yeah no i yeah i also uh-huh and talos Talos. Oh yeah. Why we are we would here? come here when we were young, Thok. Um, uh, maybe we're dead. Why is why would Thok be here though? Yeah, well, but we're not the, the only places. ones here. There's that individual, and I point towards the figure in the distance. How far is it from us? Um, I would say like maybe um, quarter mile. Okay, so too far for us to know what it is without getting closer. Yes. Okay. I mean, if we're if we're dead, you know, what more, what more dead can we get? So maybe we just kind of walk towards it. Can't die twice. And I look at Doc. <laughs> can't die four times. It's even numbers. You can't die. It's true. Oh, Let's go. It's a trick. Okay. So we lock arms, and we start skipping. We're off to see the off figure. Off to see the thingy, the wonderful thingy of thing. <laughs> okay, so as you're all skipping, and everything all delirious. is merry and bright, uh, Alder, <clears throat> you yes. are finally at the capital and at the castle. There is, uh, you see more panicked people, and you see that the uh, archaic bubble that was on there seems to be waning slightly as more and more things start slamming into it, you're able to kind of dip into the uh, the bubble and into the castle as 
Lysander just is way in over his head as there are more people he's trying to usher and there are people that he is trying to calm down while also equally freaking out himself. And he locks eyes with you and he goes, oh, oh, uh, uh, where's Thor? Uh, In the town square. Okay. What? Uh, He's still in the town square. Uh, Can you do the, the, and he's like, poking at his chest to to signify the the necklace uh and he uh goes can't can't you like call him no i need on you well um the queen is uh slightly indisposed at the moment but uh last i heard <sighs> she i need told- you to call Anya. I will do my best. Please, just if you could crowd control. I will do my best. All I ask, and he kind of slaps your shoulder <clears throat> as he goes back into the fire to um, reach Anya. So, Lysander does come back, and he says, she's on her way here. Uh, She did sound not the best, but then again, I'm sure, as you know, fighting fire giants is never easy, right? I shouldn't joke. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, well, considering I'm the only one left standing right now, I'm sure that you understand that it's a lot more difficult out there. Yes. Very inappropriate. I apologize. Um, And I'm going to, while I wait for her, I'm going to sit down and take a short rest and just try and calm down. Okay. So you go ahead and you start to meditate. With that, we will go back to the off to see the wizard gang. I'm going to ask for a hammer. You're gonna ask for a hammer. I already have that. Never, never mind. Oh, I'm gonna ask for a heart. Just kidding. I don't need that. (laughs) Makes my job a lot harder. We should definitely make sure Thok asks for a brain, though. That I'm kind of concerned. Uh, Me too. What is that supposed to mean? What? No, nothing. I wasn't talking about you. It was another Thok that we know. I don't know. You mean more than one? Yeah, it's only the two, though. Okay. I need to meet this other fuck. We'll set it up. Don't worry. Cool. Uh, Thok, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Where the hell's my dice? No, that one's crazy. They don't know another (laughs) Thok. I'm not not using that one. They're lying. (laughs) Oh, it's cocked. Fuck you. It was almost a nat 20. Let's try this again. Oh, but that's not bad. So 15 plus. What'd you say for perception? Yes. 25. Okay, with your 25, you notice, for the first time in a long time, there are only three of you. Where's Alder? (laughs) Not dead. He was a spider last I saw. No, I didn't see that. He was tied up last I saw. Maybe he didn't die yet. Can I roll the perception? Sure. Loki, go ahead and roll a perception check. 14. Loki, with your superior intellect, this is the first time you've seen Doc alone in a long time. Where's Manu? Oh. Oh. I thought he was I dead. don't know. I try to reach out to Manu in my head. There Yo, is where you there. at? <laughs> there is no reply after a while. So, Manu? nothing. No. Oh, perfect. We gotta talk to you about Manu. <laughs> yeah. First off, I don't think we're dead because he was dead and he's not here. Second, I don't yeah. trust him. I don't like him. His face is bad. So you don't trust him because you don't like him? 
No, we don't trust him because he's working with death. Yeah, I don't like him because I can't trust him. Well, what he said. I mean, I didn't trust him at first either, but... No, fuck, you're not understanding. So, he is literally like a walkie-talkie to the giant whale beast death thing that we fought before, Money which death. is one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. He is going to help death bring about the apocalypse. We think this is why they've been one step ahead of us ever since Manu's been around. Everything we do, it's like they know what's happening. And the only thing that I've seen that could connect us is Manu and Manutep. Yeah, but that's not a connection that I know or understand. It's not really a connection that I know how to break. Right. We but know. that's why we can't fucking trust him with anything. But everything I know, he knows. I'm not here. Yeah, but... If we go back, do you think he'll know that I had this conversation? If I don't bring it up? Like... We hope not. I mean, he can't read your mind, can he? He, doesn't, he can't go through your memories and do your thoughts. DM, can I? I don't know if we've ever tested um... that theory... I believe we haven't tested that theory, but I will say no for uh, being interesting. As far as I know, no. Not that I'm aware of. Like, we've shared information, but... And we've been able to, like, live speak to each other, but not any glimpses of the past or anything of the sort. Like, we've at one point shared a power I don't quite understand... But we haven't really tested that again. Fuck. He is dangerous. Whether he means to be or not, he is. He yeah, is how... connected. And when we saw Mon Monutep, there was a vision that Heimdall, or Helm as you would call him, gave to us, me. He was back with your money. <clears throat> if they come together, I don't know if we'll be able to stop whatever Monutep becomes. And he knows that we're in Valoria. He's on his way here. We know that. This is hard. Because I feel like he's as much of a victim, though, as we yeah. are. He but didn't choose we this. can't we can't pick victims and and people that aren't at fault if he is the issue we have to sever the connection somehow well one we don't know how to sever that connection and two i made a vow i promised that i would try to get him back to who he was before he died like well that person will bring about the end of the world so listen i think i have a plan you can keep your oath to get him reunited to the best of your ability. But from here on out, and I look at Thor, make eye contact, and we're going to have to keep you in the dark. You have to trust us. You have to know that we are not... We are on your side. Oh, I know. Things are going to happen that are not going to make sense. And you just, you have to trust us. Things are already happening that do not make sense. I mean, if it wasn't for y'all, I'd be dead God knows how many times over. Fantastic. Uh, if it wasn't it for like Manu, we will wouldn't. Work. If it wasn't for Manu, we wouldn't be in the situation to begin with. So. Okay. I, I, I trust you. Um, how do I know? I mean, th there should be a word or something or uh, somehow for me to know when to step away so that if we're going to discuss something that I can't know I we'll handle can't that. know we'll, we'll handle that you don't have to just know if the three of us are not close to you 
try and keep Manu with you, not walking around like he seems to have the ability to do. Okay. Which I don't understand that either, but... So many things. I will... I'll, yeah, I guess that's my mission now. Just keep your friends close and potential enemies closer. I mean, until we can figure out how this comes in with new death, we're, we're kind of between a rock and a hard place, so... But wait. The apocalypse is bad, Buck. The apocalypse is bad. Speaking of apocalypse, you said four horsemen. What are the other three? Uh, war, death, uh, greed. Is that one of them? I can't Pestilence. remember. Pestilence. Pestilence. And that one. And Go ahead and roll a religion check. <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to do it. The fourth one is always oh, depending on which 16. mythology you follow. It is... War, famine, pestilence, and death. Those are the ones that I say to Thok. So we know who death is, but do we know who the other three are? Uh, Ares is a war son. So I would lead me to believe that Ares is the war horseman. And the other two... Maybe well, maybe we've met them already, but... we If we take out two... what? Our odds go up 50%. So I did that math all by myself, Loki. I'm very proud of you. I, I thought you would be. I didn't know you knew numbers that high. <clears throat> I kind of just pulled um, them out of my ass. So Manotep isn't here yet. Not so yet. that's death. Yeah. We're dealing with war who just... Killed. And I feel around and I'm like, took my eye? But I still have... Um, is, my, so I, do, is my scar still there? Uh, go ahead and uh, roll a perception to see if you can still feel it. Um, you said perception? Mm-hmm. Or, you know what? Investigation. Sorry. Um, ten. Okay. Uh, as you run your finger uh, and kind of feel for the scar, it is not there. So as, as he says that, I say, my scar has gone too. Still ugly there. Oh, are you looking in a mirror? No, I'm looking at your face. Oh, you must be blind then. As Loki no. flips his hair back in a very <coughs> sassy way. So greasy. Ugh. Greasy it's... is a sign of beauty. Where I come from. You come from where I come from. That's not true. You did not spend time where I spent time. That is true. So... As the three of you are walking and talking, uh, eventually you get to the base of the mountain where there is a very big goat. How big? Goat. <laughs> Can very, I ride it? Yes. Very <laughs> large. Can I eat it? With that, we are going to go back to Alder. Damn it. Alder. Yeah, after goat cheese. <laughs> about a... Uh, 30 minutes passes as you're able to get your short rest. <clears throat> Excuse me. As eventually you start hearing thunder and lightning and the cracking of the sky outside. And before long in that giant hole that uh, is in <laughs> the, the castle now is Anya as she floats down for, with her wings. She is covered in blood, muck, you can see that she has a few uh, new cuts. She looks very... Mm, go ahead and roll investigation. The one that I'm bad at. Um, let's see. Investigation plus Please. zero. Natural 20. All right. Wasting it on this. She, she looks damaged. Her wings are singed. The blade that she's carrying, which is Yarnbjorn, is just covered <coughs> in blood. And she seems to be, like, I wouldn't say, like, full-on panting, but definitely a, a slightly out of breath as she kind of puts the, the axe gently down and she goes, Alder. Can um, we get away from the hustle and bustle to talk? And she looks at you and she nods. And she starts walking back into the, the keep. 
follow follow along with her and I just kind of wait for us to get in there and shut the door. Eventually you do like shut the door and you're about to talk to her and she she it looks like she's making a beeline for her room. Okay. So you follow her and uh as I've described before there is a makeshift balcony and there's an enchantment on a on essentially the wall it looks like it's a cool night uh, and there's uh, very far in the distance a very nice little farm as she's looking out at it and she goes I see that Thor, Loki, or Thark are not with you so I'm assuming that things have happened oh well, yeah we found uh, we we met Enya um, he revealed himself to go by the name Ares and um, everybody else is down currently I was the only one who's able to survive and he sent me to get you and what does he want with me I don't think it's good uh, I don't usually know. never is. I don't know for sure. He did not say. He just said that he needs you. He wants you. And pretty much I hold up my hand missing a finger and I say there'd probably be more of me missing if I put up more of a fight to get here. And then I say he already pulled out one of Thok's eyes. So... Where is he? Town Square. And that's where I go. And she looks at you, and you see her, and she looks back out at the farm longingly. And she goes, When I was little, this is where I lived. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm... I didn't, um, I wasn't raised by my parents. I was, um, taken from them. Uh, uh, not stolen or anything like that, just taken for, I was told, for a higher purpose. That, um, I would learn about humility and how to be a better person. And I remember my father holding his hammer and passing it down to me. And when I was ready, I'd be able to take it. <clears throat> yeah. And she looks at it one last time and she goes, this might be the last time I see it. So I want to make sure I see every little bit. I understand. Um... I'd say take some of the time that you need to rest up. I told him it might not be immediate, but uh, I'll, I'm going to head down to the town square with you. And she goes, um, I'm going to fly in. I'm going to try to um, maybe surprise them. Okay. No. Um, in that case... Mm -hmm. Let me get in ahead of you, so that way I can uh, try and distract them. And she nods. All right, well, guess I'll see you soon. And she goes, yeah, you will, Alda. I'll see you soon. No. I just kind of turn back and say I'm, I'm not much of a religious man, but uh, all for the protect you. And she smiles and she says, you as well. And you quietly exit as you close the door very quietly. And you feel that just this weight has just been put on your shoulders. 
as you start dredging back to the town square that you said you would meet Creed. Yeah. So, <clears throat> while you make your way back, let's go back to Goat Town. Um, right. So the three of you, uh, Thor, Loki, please make um, intelligent checks. Oh. Natural one. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Just the two of them, right? Thor, you've never met this goat in your life and you're going to punch it. Fuck Loki, goats. this is Tan Grinsnia, which is the teeth bearer, which is your father's goat. I fucking hate goats. This goat needs a punch in the face. Hey, Thor. This is Tan what? Tan's Grinsnia. Odin's goat. Me? <laughs> oh. Your dad's oh. goat, you fucking moron. He's, he's our dad. You're you're adopted. Uh, our dad. Scout. You didn't like that. You didn't, didn't even feel right coming out of your mouth. I didn't like it either. So you the can goat, call him we know the goat. Um, you said the <laughs> teeth bearer. Right? Yep. Teeth bearer, the snarler. And then you know that there is the other one, which is ten... God, I hate Norse names. <laughs> Tang Nostir, which is Teeth Grinder. There's a bearer and a grinder. Dude. But you know that both of the goats used to pull your father's carriage when he went into war. Okay. And and I assume Thor would know that as well. He Same would. There. Okay. So then, yeah, I'll say Tang Grinder. But I don't, I don't see the, the other, other one. one. Right. Uh, I'm going to look around for him, the other tooth gnasher grinder. grinder. How big is this goat? It's fucking big. Pretty big. Thick Remember boy, the goat from Strahd? The Did one that I killed? Strahd? Yes. About the same size. It was the ram that he the killed. Ram. Sorry, yeah, the ram. Sorry, about the same size as the ram. Okay. They're fairly big. <laughs> I'm looking around for uh, te teeth grinder. <laughs> Is that investigation? Yes, it'll be investigation. Just call them. Uh, that is a 15. <clears throat> okay. With your 15, you're able to kind of look and you see that there are horns next to a shadowy silhouette at the top of the peak of the mountain. Do I have my hammer? You do not. Mm. Uh, I'm going to try and cast jump on myself, which allows me to jump 90 feet uh, for a minute. And I'm going to try and also cast it on Thok and Loki and kind of show them the shadow up top and say, maybe we get some answers up there. It looks like he, the other one is that way. And I'm going to try and cast jump on all three of us. So you do attempt to cast jump. And yeah. unfortunately it does fail. Okay. Is it because I can't cast spells? Did I burn those slots? Just for, um, or is it just in the, in the world we're in? Seeing him fail. Actually not terrible. 15. It doesn't seem to be because you're fatigued from lack of spell slots. Got it. So point him that one over there. Yeah, that one there. I'm gonna try something for having experienced death a few times. I'm going to try to imagine us there, kind of like project us there okay. to see if we if us walking actually is something we have to do or if it's one of those what our mind sees is what is happening in mind's okay. eye or whatever yeah you so. kind of close your eyes and imagine all of you at the top of the peak and you feel this warm gust of wind kind of hit your your face and as you look up and look you are face to face with teeth bearer oh uh hi goat i thought your silhouette made you human <clears throat> Hello. Do you know where father is? Can you 
like point with your tongue or like a paw. Hoof. Yeah, that one. Yeah, hooves, Thor. Yeah, that one. Uh, go ahead and roll an animal handling check with your father's goat. <coughs> I mean, it's an advantage, goat. right? No. Daddy's you did not have a God. great. Daddy did chill. not have a great relationship. I did say I wanted to punch the other one, so uh, no. No, it's this is the same one. This is oh, it's the same one. It's Perfect. the same one. It's yeah, nine. He kind of headbutts you. <laughs> you don't take I any damage, him. but you I do get. Him. I hit him back. Okay, you go ahead and hit him back, and there's just this kind of like punch headbutt, and Loki. This is getting very familiar. <laughs> yeah, of... I, I grab his arm and I say, no, 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 come back to the bar, and I look at um. I look at, is it ten, Tansgrenir, Sneer? And, His uh, is Tangrinsnir. 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 Even when I write I'll it down, it. it's still hard. It's T A N G R I S N I R. Tan Grisnir. Tan Gris. Grisnir. Okay. Um, so I, I pull Thor back and I, and I kind of get down lower on like one knee. Well, how tall is he? He's because, tall. But like, where's his head sit? Uh, like a lanky five two. Yeah, yeah, very for sure. A tall, very tall lanky five two. five two. Like his head kind of comes up to you, your head. Oh, okay. Then I will not get down. Um, but I will walk up and say, "Hey, hey, 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 hey!" And I, I catch, uh, I cast uh, speech of beast and leaf to try to talk to him. Okay. Um, you. I will say you attempt to do so, but you are unable to cast anything. Oh, God, that was oh, no, terrible. Hold on. Let, me, let me try again. Let me try again. <laughs> that's not, that's not that's right. Not even good. What is happening? I'm, I'm sure if, if you imagine that he speaks. Look, goat, where the fuck is our father? It's not like that. Hey, goat. Where the fuck this is, is not so much okay. an intelligence thing. It's more of a you have to be wise. So Imagine him neither speaking of those to you, things, he'll speak to so. you. So as the this three of you are bickering, you hear a I would say soft but stern voice. I'm up here. I look, yeah, yeah, I look where now. I hear the voice. It's towards the top of the mountain. Does the goat talk now? I thought we were at the top of the mountain. I also uh, thought that. You're at the base of the mountain still. Sorry, you are still at the base of the mountain. <laughs> cool, 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 oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to get to the top. That's why oh, I know. I okay, got it. So, cool. Sorry, just to, to reiterate. Base of the mountain with the goat at the base of the mountain. You've just heard a very familiar voice at the top of the mountain. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look up. Do I see a person? Do you see shapes? Okay. I start walking uh, toward the shape. Okay. So you start yeah, I guess. climbing up as the three of you start scaling the mountain. Do do I know the voice? Like I, I know it's you your, said it's familiar. It is your father's voice. Which one? The one who's here for me? <laughs> the one that no. <laughs> I mean technically neither were here for you, so Yeah, it was a trick question. Really narrow it down. I have no father. Oh my god, which one? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to do the Thok thing and think about being at the top of the mountain. Don't strain yourself, Thor. It's going to not do anything, but it's fine. And you are correct. It does not do anything. Cool. I'm going to start climbing now. Okay. Oh, is it a mountain, not like a hill? It's like a... It's not like a full mountain, but it's... It's, it's a mountain. Like it's a mountain. Oh, a oh, yeah, I climb those all the time. Yes, I'd like to traverse the mountain. <laughs> yes, traverse the mountain. It's, or it's like... a mill. Take your pick. <laughs> Say a mill? Yeah. Like a million dollars or like a mill town? No, like a mountain hill. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> while you guys are doing that, um, Alder, yes. you are making your way to the um the town square the capital as you see uh and you hear a crack of lightning and you instinctively look up as you see a jet of just energy push forward and 
as you kind of look at where the center of town is, you see this massive just beam of fire, almost like a column that is jutting out. Oh, I don't think she can miss him. <clears throat> okay. And I start walking faster. Okay. Eventually, you do get to the outskirts where Jessica seems to be whispering to someone, and then she takes notice of you, and she comes around the corner, and she goes, Oh, you're, uh, okay. I, I see that Anya is here. Uh, you haven't missed much. It seems like they're talking. But um, you're going to help me get Valdano, yeah? Yeah. Um, who were you talking to? That is not important. And she kind of, like, smiles. Go ahead and roll, roll an insight check. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, bring my stats back up. Uh, 24. She's definitely lying. Obviously, she's talking to someone. It's like, um, that seems very important, and you're lucky that we're pressed for time right now. Um, can I tell that this is actually her? You can roll another investigation check to see if it's her. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Uh, 14. Seems like her. All right. Smells like her, which is, you know your particular smell of jasmine (laughs) all right um that's right yeah no that's right i remember her smell smells like everything that you yeah that you enjoy um yeah okay all right well again i i say you're lucky that we're pressed for time because we're going to talk about whatever that means um looks like she goes no matter what happens Get Val. How are we going to do this? Um, I need to stay here. Um, just because of the, the, the circumstance. I, I promise it'll make a lot more sense when Val gets here. You can roll another insight if you want to see if she's trying to be deceitful or anything. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, 16. She seems earnest. Um, I said, I'm like, I understand that. I'm just trying to see what I could possibly do. I actually do have one second level spell slot still open. Um, so I can try and do pass without a trace. Um, it's just a matter of how. Um, I just that's the thing is she's you i'm like can, can we see where she is right now because i know that from experience she was surrounded by a bunch of drew uh, i just want to know if she could visualize that she's still currently surrounded uh go ahead and roll another investigation check for me uh 13 uh with the 13 it's very hard to kind of tell it does look like Ares and Anya are fighting at this point. So there's a lot of distraction. Uh, the Drugar are all cheering and roaring, and Flevlog uh, looks pretty green, like he's sick. Um, but there's a lot of chaos going on that it kind of makes it hard to see where she's at. Gotcha. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to... <clears throat> kind of scurry over there and I'm going to cast uh, pass without a trace on myself to try and see if I can sneak through the area to try and pull her out um, from distracted Druga. Okay. Go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Uh, that is a 23. With your 23? you currently see that your associates have been bound a little bit differently. Thok is still in his current predicament. However, his uh, shackles are much shorter and in an awkward position that it would be awkward to try to pull off. 
Uh, Thor has his left arm completely in this kind of manacle, kind of think of like uh, Bucky at the end of Civil Mm -hmm. War, where there's just this kind of press that's keeping it there. And Mm -hmm. it's the only thing that's above ground level because everything else he's just face down on the ground. And Loki is currently upside down with, it almost looks like a collar, but it's around his mouth. Ball as gag. he's just kind of swaying. Not a ball gag. It's kind of a ball gag. Um, There's no hot. ball. <clears throat> it's all no balls, all gag. gag. Um, <clears throat> you brought this on yourself. Take um, five points of psychic damage. Choke me out in. Oh, no. That's gone. No. Uh. Anyway, what are you he's doing, Step God? Swinging back and forth <laughs> as, you know. There's this battle that is just going no, on. No, you're my stepsister down. god. No. What do you mean you're stuck in the washing machine? Anywho. <laughs> um, ew. Uh, anyways, um, so uh, obviously I'm going to kind of see that and just kind of just wince in in pain and agony at that because I'm terrified of what could be happening with that um and i'm just going to continue to kind of sneak my way towards um towards valdana okay go ahead and roll investigation see if you can find valdana oh shit uh natural 18 okay with your natural 18 you can kind of see that there is a cluster of juagar around a kind of archaic cage shit 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 um while you think that over we'll go back to the mountain peak yeah yeah okay so it takes you uh, a few minutes but eventually you're able to get to the top of this mill and sitting Mount Hill, Loki, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Sitting on a very large rock is a older man. He's wearing very like fine kind of robes that look worn. There's armor that's scattered to the right that's been damaged and bloodied. And you see uh, the other goat, Teeth Nasher. He, or teeth grinder, sorry. He is currently just kind of resting almost like a dog would next to its master. As you hear the clip clop of eventually Transgrinsnia coming up and following suit. Hmm. I see even when it comes to goats, you have a favorite. And he looks over at you, Loki, with his good eye as you see your father as he goes... Didn't have a favorite. Hmm. I brought both of you, didn't I? And more. Where did you... Why did you bring us? Why now? And he kind of just gestures to the rock next to him. It's big enough for all three of you to sit next to him. And uh, as we're walking over, I'll look at, over my shoulder at Thok. Thok, this is our... Uh, Father, this is Odin, uh, the All Father. Oh, oh, um, pleasure to meet you. And I like awkwardly like bow. No, or, like, we don't. Like, mm-hmm. No, nope. uh, don't. If, yeah. you, if you can stand up more straight, that would be preferable. As a straight, but okay. to be as tall as possible. Uh, Thor's gonna kind of give him a shot with the elbow to the ribs and see if he can kind of get him to like. Jolt down real quick. Who, me? No, Loki. Oh. He'll, um, can we roll to see what I do? Sure. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm trying to, you see, he said he was stretching his back out to try and be even taller and straighter than normal. <laughs> I want to try and give him an elbow shot and see if uh, I can get him to kind of like crumble a little bit. Okay, uh, go ahead, and I need Loki to roll a performance check, and Thor roll a dex check. Uh, 
17. I got 19. Yeah, that's, okay. a, that's a 14 plus 3 is 17. <laughs> so uh, you two start scuffling, and your father just sighs as Doc, you sit next to him. I've, they always been like this. No, there was a third one. <laughs> oh, my apologies. And or my, my condolences. No, he's, Talos is still alive. Just harder to reach. I'm sorry, Talos is still alive? Where's, why the fuck is he not here? He is very quite far beyond my reach. This is, this is not real, son. I thought bringing us to where I brought you as boys would bring you into familiar territory and uncertainty. Oh, yes. Where this, are you? This feeling is quite familiar. Loki, shut up. Where, Father, where are you? We've been trying to reach you for... I've been trying to reach you for... And he looks at you and he goes, I know. And it's risky enough to attempt to reach out to you, but I thought it was time, especially in the face of Armageddon, of Apocalypse. We didn't know what was killing us off, the gods. It started very, very small. And then eventually it just kept getting bigger. So what is it? I don't know. Unfortunately, I do not have all the answers. I just... I wanted to see my boys in case this was the last time I could see you with my eye. And you feel your father's hands kind of cup your cheek, Thor, and it's warm, and he goes, you've made me so proud, both of you. And he reaches out for you, Loki. What's he reaching for? Your hand. How far am I right now? I don't know. How far are you, stiff boy? <laughs> um, I would be standing next to the rock, so seeing him reach out, I would reluctantly take a step closer and put my hand out. And he takes it as you kind of sit next to him and Doc, you, you kind of scooch over. You make a little room. And he looks off into the, the fog and he goes... There are going to be a lot of hard conversations, a lot of hard times. Though I can bring you here, I cannot restore your bodies at the moment. I myself am weak as my avatar is being plucked. Plucked? Not murdered? The murder comes later, doesn't it? Do you know where we can f find this god killer? You've already found him. He's not that strong, father. Not, not all of us. Not all of Asgard. And he puts his, his hand over yours and he goes, Thor, what do you think has been killing all of our family. Father, if I was there, there's no way he would have... But you weren't. And I wasn't. And that's something I will have to bear. Where are you? We can come help. We have Ashford. He's building a rocket. We have Alda. He can shift planes. We can come fight by your side. We can, we can save the realms like before no I am far too old to keep fighting you need to be there for the people for Asgard he sees to kill us celestials Asgard uh, the Greeks 
I don't know of my own brother. But I can't think of a, a more <clears throat> spit in the face than persevering and surviving. We will kill him, father. And I look over at Loki and lock eyes with Thok. We'll kill him. And he goes, All I need is for you to protect the realms. Because they are getting smaller and smaller. They are controlling the heavens. They are controlling the depths. The only thing that's left is... Midgard. Do you know of Morden? Is he alive? He is alive. He is alive, if that's what you are asking. He's on a different... It's complicated, but he is hiding on the moon. What of Heimdall? Is he okay? Heimdall has, in all of this, have fought valiantly and bravely. He has been protecting our people. He's okay. He is weak. But there are still followers of Helm. But not as strong as the one that once was. The little fellow. Duke. What do you know of death? And he looks at you and he goes, Lucifer's son is is indisposed. As we already know, th death has been thwarted before by the Raven Queen, and the Raven Queen is also indisposed. What do you know of Monutep? Not much. Former paladin of death. Something else now. Where are the dead going? And he looks at you, slightly helpless. I don't know. Not the Great Table. No one's been there since your mother. What more can you tell us, Father? Uh, anything is better than what we don't know already, which is a lot. And he thinks thoughtfully and he goes, I think, I think the God Slayer role was foolish. It was, it was asking for someone bigger and angrier and not just Ares and Boar. And the idea of it is, well, the thoughts of a brash young man once. <laughs> and he looks at you three and he goes, you need to be with my kid, my avatar, before she dies. Anya. And he looks at you and he goes, yes. She is strong, father. I don't... We've weakened Ares. He was on death's door. Loki and I... It was like old times. Ares is very hard to kill. Will you not intervene? And he looks at you, Loki, and he goes, I cannot. Where are you, Father? Odin. And he looks at you and he goes, I, 
I'm on a different plane. One where I'm afraid. And he looks at you, Thak, and he goes, given circumstances, I don't feel comfortable <clears throat> delaying. I understand. Um, I'll leave you and your sons to discuss. And I start walking away. And he goes, there's not much time left. Please. And he gestures back at the rock. Very I'd rather be in the company of friendly faces than <clears throat> fog. My sons. I sit back down. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's almost like the sun is setting beyond the mountain. And he sighs and he goes, Loki, I know I wasn't the greatest father to, to you, to both of you, all of you. I didn't know how to be a dad. Someone's father. I knew how to make warriors. Any bit that's good comes straight from her. And I feel like it's about time you know, if you don't already, that you are of her blood. She did birth you. You wait till now to tell me. As Loki starts to not be able to contain his emotion. You wait till now. That you're on a different plane and we're dead. Now seems like the right time. There may never be a right time. We're not dead, Loki. He's keeping us alive. To get this off your chest so you can die in peace. No. Because you deserve to know the truth. And Loki is taken aback. He starts to look away and, and he sits down on the rock in the space left. And he says to you, I've always seen you as my son, because you are my son. Where are your ravens? You keep shooing them off. Paul. I had a facade to keep up. Yes. I know all about facades. They don't have Talos, do they? Talos will start Ragnarok. It's, they're trying to find the Sword of Soda. I need to know that they don't have an Odinson. I can't see Talos. I don't know if they have him or he's on his own pocket. I haven't heard from him in, well, since before you returned. And he looks and he goes, you have to go now. And I hope this isn't the last time I see you. As he just kind of puts out his arms in a ditch effort to have his sons hold him. I move forward and embrace him Um, without question. One arm goes around and 
takes your neck. Yes, Loki. Loki looks at Odin and hesitantly moves closer and allows allows the embrace. Bok looks down in a way to give him a moment of privacy. And he says in all tongue, he goes, remember, Asgard is a people. We don't need gold or marble to be Asgardians. We just need to simply be. I love you both. As you feel like his body slowly just kind of dissipate no. as it turns into no. this, these gold flakes that just... Whew. No, you can't die. I'm not forgiving you. You are not to die until I have forgiven you. I, Loki son, Loki Odinson, command you to stay alive until I can Lo- forgive you. Loki, he's gone. And with that, he, he falls down to his knees, reaches up to the sky and just screams as loud as he can. Okay. And as you're screaming, eventually the haze begins to dissipate and the harshness of your lungs and the uh, volume at which you're screaming is soon muffled as you scream yourself awake as you are upside down slowly swaying back and forth as the three of you find yourselves in your new predicaments. Alter, what did we decide on doing? <clears throat> so I'm going to get creative here and try and um, distract them, the Druga away from where Valdon is being kept. Um, I'm going to get as close as I can to them while still keeping myself hidden. Um, so I'm obviously going to have to stealth in. And then once I stealth in, I'm going to uh, try and cast Druid Craft over their area to um, make it smell like they just got skunked um, to try and drive them out due to the fact that they're confused by the smell. Okay, go ahead and roll a performance because you're also going to do like a little fart noise with your hand. <laughs> See if you can project it to make it seem like one of the Drugar shat themselves. <laughs> Devin Jorgensen is a total liar. He's, a, <laughs> he's the biggest liar here. Uh, I rolled a 12 on my performance. I mean, they're not the craftiest bunch. As one of them goes, Brevet, did you shat your paints? And you see one of them, no, I didn't. I didn't, you guys. No. They're like, yes, you did. You shat yourself. As uh, there is a commotion and a clamoring. As all of them are, like, between the rowdiness of the fight and the rowdiness of someone potentially shitting themselves because they're like frat boys, you are able to get closer to the cage. Okay, um, I'm going to try and get over to the cage and see if I can pull out my thieves tools and try and pick the lock. Okay. Go ahead and make a thieves tool check. Uh, that is a uh, sleight of hand. Correct. That is no, it is a roll with your proficiency and dexterity modifier. So uh, it, for me, that's yeah. It's same thing. So yeah. Oh, a 12. So you do start to bend and you feel the rake kind of bending in the lock as you're like, okay, that's not good. As you are working on that, uh, Thor, you are currently uh, almost positioned in one area where your left arm to the shoulder is under this very large slab of either archaic concrete or something. Every time you kind of like move to shift, it gets tighter and it breaks down more. The, you were currently on your knees and your face is, you're able to look up and have a 180 view as you see that Anya and Ares are fighting and Anya is not doing so hot. You also uh, see... <coughs> Go ahead. 
I was going to say, you also see Loki hanging and that scream that he was screaming at the top of the mountain has been muffled, but there's a look of confusion and then recognition and then possibly fear. That's more of a Loki call. And you do hear Fox stirring awake as all of you are back to essentially one hit point. Okay. Um, uh, do I see my hammer? Uh, you see that Anya has been switching between Yornborn and the hammer. Okay. Um, don't want to take that from her. So what I will do is... Uh, I'm going to make eye contact with Loki and I'm going to use a cantrip with my right hand. Uh, mm -hmm. It's lightning lure, lightning lure. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to shoot the rope that he's on. And the way that this works is uh, I create a flash of lightning energy that strikes at one creature of my choice that I can see within 15 feet of me. And then the target, which would be the rope, must succeed on a strength saving throw or be pulled 10 feet in a straight line towards you. So essentially I'm trying to break the rope and pull right. him towards me to be able to help me get this arcane, whatever the fuck, off my arm. So what I'm going to say, instead of uh, a strength check with it, um, just because of how it is and the distance with it, I need you to make a dex like check. A dex check, okay. Yeah, because you're trying to shoot a very specific target that is a lot smaller than a person. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, that's so good. 21. Okay. So you are able to hit the rope, and it does start to fray and string as... And you're just trying to bring Loki to you. I will say Loki's kind of like in a straight jacket situation as well. Uh, that's not great. Didn't know that. Um, too late now. I've already shot the <coughs> Um So I, I do have a free arm, so like I can rip some belts off of some shit if I have to. Um, yeah, so I'm still going to try and pull him towards me. Okay. Uh, so let me see here. So I would say Loki would have to make a strength save, but obviously he would fail it. So That's probably true. So you're able to pull him 10 feet closer to you, but Look, you just immediately smack into the concrete when you get to ah. maybe about halfway. Wait, so I'm trying to figure out. So I'm hanging. Am I on the you ground? You were hanging? Now? Yeah. You are on the ground now because he did fray and cut the uh, the rope. Okay. Got so you. so I'm trapped, right? In a straight jacket? Straight jacket, uh, hands bound behind you. Uh, Legs not really moving either, and you don't have the use of your mouth. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll start by trying to inchworm closer to Thor. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I Hold on. I might have an idea, but I'm going to inchworm first. Okay, so... You start to inchworm. You're inchworm, inchworm. Uh, Alder, go ahead and make another check for me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Please be better. Uh, 25. 25. Okay. So you do hear a click, and you're able to turn and swing open the gate, and you do see the uh, rest of the crew is currently in there. They are There are manacles, but they are not tied to the ground or anything. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, do another Druidcraft um, uh, skunk fart uh, to try and keep the Druga distracted. And I'm just going to, as I do that, I'm just going to be like, Katana, come with me. And try and grab her to come come along with me. And if I if I have to pick her up and carry her, I'll, I'll, I'll do that to still try and sneak away to get her over to Creed. Okay. And she looks very confused. Uh, she is out of her armor. She's been stripped of it. So she's just in her under armor. As you put one arm uh, under your neck, as you essentially, or if you strength check, you can essentially try to fireman's carry her. I mean, we'll give it a shot. Strength check. Yeah. <laughs> no modifier. Uh, 12. 
She's not too heavy with her armor on. If she had her full plate, then it would be a lot more difficult. But you are able to scoop her, and you do kind of make start making like a beeline <laughs> as you see a very confused Captain Fear and Brock like, what the fuck? What? As Valdana's looking at you, and she's like, Alder, what's happening? Why are you picking me up? And we're running. Oh, my God, is that on? Yeah. I wish I could explain anything, but I really can't. Come on. Like, he's okay. not lying. And she's like, but where's Creed? That's where we're going. Like, and uh, she goes, oh my God. I, I mean, I heard what was going on outside, but fuck. And yeah. As you kind of like beeline and book, you make it towards the other end of the corner. As. Thor, you are looking at Loki kind of inchworm. You see at one point Anya throws Mjolnir at Ares, and Ares reaches his hand out, and you see him wrap his fingers around Mjolnir. You hear his shoulder pop, but he ricochets Mjolnir back at Anya before it connects with her mouth and bring her to the ground. When he grabs it in the air, can I call for it? Can I use an action to call for it to see if I can kind of like knock it off its axis slightly? You can attempt to, as yeah, you also see Ares's hand is also out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Okay. Go ahead and roll a strength check. Can it be a save instead? <laughs> no. Please. No. I also uh, attempt. Seventeen. And you start to kind of pull it from its axis and you see like the arm that he dislocated. He's just ripping forward. You feel, you hear his fingers pop and dislocate as well as he, as you yourself, you start pulling towards it and the slab under the, uh, that your arm is trapped is pulling as you're almost in like a, uh, being p torn from two ends as Ares has a grip on it as well. And it's just kind of in this, odd spinning area motion where it's just floating and shaking as and i'm just gonna lock eyes with aries that's all and you lock eyes with him and you see those amber eyes that you saw Grit back on asgard and you see him and he grits back as you actually see like his feet start to make imprints into the stone as eventually Anya starts to roll over and she reaches for her hammer as well. I'll let go in hopes that she can get it. And you see Ares's arm move as he slowly starts dish, walking. Dish, dish. No, 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 no. Loki! And, and I'm gonna try and start force... I'm gonna push up on the rock with my free well it's this way so i'm gonna try and like lift it this way yeah. and try and get enough space so i can get my arm out and go help okay go ahead and roll a a strength check or a strength Look. save i would also like to have been doing some stuff during here okay uh, what would you like to have been doing so i might not have to do it then let's let pat go we'll see uh, I rolled a natural 20, and if it's a save, that's a 30. Okay. So as you're slowly starting to lift it up, your arm is very fatigued, almost uh, flat. I want to take a it's picture tearing. and send it in the chat real quick, <laughs> just as, so you know I'm not lying. You are slowly dragging your arm out, and you do start feeling like membrane and tissue start to tear from it as you're just almost like a coyote in a bear trap okay then i'd like to do my thing sure and add to this so i'd like to use my remaining two sorcery points to make my spell a subtle spell um one point so that i don't need verbal and one point so i don't need somatic to cast okay um i'm going to cast mage hand and um, this would have been while I was inchworming. Okay. So in that time, I'd like to have the mage hand attempt to free me, at least my hands, from uh, from whatever I'm bound to. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need Glover 
to um, roll a sleight of hand to see if he's able to start working on the cuffs mm -hmm. and knots and all the shit that's keeping you from, from moving. Is it um, my sleight of hand? Uh, I'll say it yes. would be, right? Yes. Okay. 25. Five. You're able to get at least two cuffs off. Uh, you feel that your hands are, uh, instead of being like bound together, it's just uh, <coughs> your wrists and forearms now. Your fingers can move. Like this? And you're able... Yeah. Okay. Essentially. Yep. Am I... They're, they're tied I'm watching behind the my stream. back, right? Oh, right. Yeah, true. They are tied behind your back. Okay. So, as you're kind of crawling and for you're tearing and ripping fuck are you doing anything i, mean, I can't really do much slime so you said that my arms are tied tighter than it was before yes and they're in a very awkward position to try to kind of bring towards and break my mouth is still bound right it is okay um i just look around for manu and Manu is there, and he looks white as a sheet. He looks very concerned, and he looks scared. And in my head, or in his head, I think, you've been able to share your abilities with me once. Do you want to attempt it again? We have he, no choice. He looks at you, and he goes, yeah, we can certainly try. And I just try to focus on my connection with him and I try to break free and attempt to use my final rage to assist with it somehow. Okay. So as you're doing that, go ahead and roll a perception check. Perception. What is it, 13? So 23. You see Alder running with Valdana in his arms out of the capital. Like, away? Away. Okay. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but... Shit's weird, bro. Yeah, I still, I still try to break free with a hopeful attempt from Manu. Okay. And we will get there. So eventually, Thor, as you're ripping and you feel your arms start to pull and your shoulder slowly starts to dislocate as anything below the elbow is starting to essentially tear and break off from the sheer might of this uh, I'm while you're pulling and pushing. Stop so that I don't. Um, and I'm going to kind of just look at Loki and please, brother, I... I need, I need your, your help. I, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna lose an arm this way. And he's just, mm -mm. I'm. How, I, how is my mouth bound? It is bound within. It's almost like a archaic muzzle. Okay. As you can breathe, there, and it's pressed against your lips and almost like down on your lips. So instead of like where it was sewn before. He's not taking chances with you. Um, I'm going to keep, like, inchworming further. Um, so the entire time as I'm inchworming toward Thor, Magic uh, Mage Hand Glover will be trying to free me in whatever way he can. Whatever's the easiest to free is what he's going to use or go after. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I would assume that when I stop struggling, any, any progress I made either goes away or I get stuck back in the, I don't, I don't know how it works. Um, but I start screaming at Ares. Uh, I just say, you want me? Not her. I'm the last God Slayer. I'm the one with the pure blood. You want me. And, and try and get his attention that way. He is set. And you see, as she's pulling Mjolnir towards him, he eventually gets the hammer and he starts pushing forward onto her head. 
as he goes, ah, you want the hammer, yeah? And eventually you hear a crunch, a slight crunch, as Anya's <clears throat> arms start to tense up. And he eventually brushes Mjolnir to the side with this heavy thud. And using his foot, he kicks her over. And he looks over at you and all of you. And go ahead and roll perception checks, the, uh, the three that can see him. Eleven. Thirteen. Natural twenty for a thirty. There is a slight twinge of guilt and solemn before his brow furrows and he puts his uh, foot in between where her wings are and he grabs both of them and he just starts pulling up as you hear Anya screaming. Uh, at this point, Thor is yelling still, Come take me, you coward! It's me you want! Has my mage hand made any progress in getting me free? Go ahead and do another slide. 25. 25. So you are now wrists and elbows, baby. Uh, wait, I'm wait gonna... this is what's connected? Oh, that's free. Because that's what was last time. Right. Which one? Uh, it's it's hard to. There's a lag. Oh, okay. um, wrists. <clears throat> you said wrists and elbows. Are they free now? Because they were. They. That's all they're loosey goosey. Okay. Right. So so can I like move my arms? Uh, I will say because of the way the street jacket is, you're like you're almost doing like chicken wings, where your elbows are to the side. You can move your forearms up, down, left, right, wrists. It's just you're kind of doing the uh, the chicky, the chickadee. Okay, um, I I'm going to try and s like figure out what's on my face, and while that's happening, send mage hand over to Thor to try to help lift the thing up. You know, I'm gonna try and uh, pull my arm out again. Uh, and just go after Ares. And he looks at you, Thor, and he goes, I thought I was after you, but I feel nothing but disappointed. As he seems earnest in what he's saying before he picks up Yarnborn and cleanly with one swipe it goes straight into Anya's spine and she stops squirming as he pulls out Yarnborn puts it on the ground and looks at Flevlog we're done I I run towards him okay go ahead and roll a strength check uh ten so as you start pulling, you feel the elbow and the tendons start to move out as you are seeing red and you're feeling red as you're getting farther away from the column, but your arm is still stuck on there under it. However, you do not feel anything on that left side. Uh, I call the hammer and try and throw it at the back of Ares. Okay. As I'm forcing my way forward. So you are able to call it and you chuck it over at him and it does hit him in the back of the head and you do hear a satisfying crack as you bring it back and you do see that there's blood that comes down and he gingerly touches the back of his head and he looks back over at you and he goes, I could put down a dog if I need to and he starts heading towards you. Alder, you move over with uh, Valdana and Creed looks out from behind the bush and she goes oh my god Valdana Val Val you're alive oh my god Can, do you still have your tongue and Valdana's like wow oh, no it's really great to see you too cousin and she goes it's and Alder it's at this time that you see who she was talking to as you see Vindrin is right next to her and Valdana her eyes immediately widen and she goes 
Gran, what's Gran doing here? And Creed goes, I can explain. Um, and Alder, what languages do you speak? Uh, I speak uh, Druidic, Elvish, and Sylvan. Okay. They start speaking in this very <coughs> guttural, very odd language that you do not recognize. As you see Valdana, like they're having an argument as you hear Anya screaming, and then the screaming stops. And, and I just kind of say, uh, are we done? Because I think Anya is. And Jessica goes and she says in common, it's our last shot. And Valdana goes, all right, but you're dealing with it, all of it. And she goes, yeah, uh, fine, <coughs> bye. And she goes, Gren, did you want to see Aunt Anya? And uh, you see Vincent, and she goes, oh, I think it would be. It would be nice. You can tell us some of uh, uh, Grandpa's uh, poetry. You remember, of course, right? And um, it's at this point that they start speaking in that guttural language to Vindran. And uh, if you were, because I want to read the poem, if you were there and you could speak what they were speaking, you would hear two by two, brass hand over copper heart. My heart is yours, Vindran, the redeemer of men, for as long as you'll have me. I want you by my side, and the starry, silvery moon fills the night sky. You are my charge, and your song is my speech. And Val picks up the second half. I'll never grow tired of it. I'll only keep it safe for you, and above all else, guard your heart. Be ever loyal in me and in you, but I must go. And do you see my song as I've been singing it for you? I've been running away from it, and now I have to face it. This will not happen to you. Do not stop looking for the silver moon and have faith in the stars. As they finish this guttural, Vindran just drops, like passes out. And Val's like, what did you do? And Creed's like, I didn't do it. What did I do? What did you do? And they start bickering as Alder, you kind of crouch next to Vindran and she looks up at you as her eyes slowly flutter open. She goes, Oh, hello, Alder. Vindran, um, are you okay? And she goes, hmm, I'll be frank, I'm quite perturbed. As she slowly sits up, and as she usually walked and moved, it was very, like, old lady-ish, she's moving in, like, a fluid motion as eventually she gets up and she starts walking towards the capital. And that is when Valdana and Creed go, oh, shit, oh, shit. And Alder's like, <laughs> Jessica goes to you. And she goes, how are you like with weird shit? I've seen my fair share, so go for it. And he goes, yeah, I don't think you're ready for this. Uh, as you guys kind of crouch and you're peeking towards the capital. Doc, eventually, as you're trying to move with Manu and he's trying to concentrate, you see Vindran slowly walking towards Ares as he's getting closer and closer, Thor. So, Loki, you're moving your arms and eventually you also see this Vindran moving. And before long, she's not too far away from where Thor and uh, you are. Before she says something guttural. What languages do you speak, Loki? Um, celestial, common, draconic, elvish, giant, and passing dwarvish. And as she's moving, she looks down and she sees Anya's lifeless body. And you recognize this language. As she reaches her hand out and from this very tiny hand, you see this massive, scalic, copperish, brackish arm that eventually begins getting bigger and bigger as you hear in Draconic, not my Anya. As Ares looks very confused as the shell that was Vindran starts to move out and open. And before you, you see an adult copper dragon that immediately bellows at Ares. And we'll end it there. All right. Nor normal shit. Normal shit. <laughs> normal shit. Uh, 
Okay. Well, uh, we are unfortunately off next week. Uh, we will attempt to stream something for you guys. Don't know how that's going to work. Uh, sorry, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. So uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you for commenting, subscribing, uh, following, doing all that great stuff. Uh, Josh, would you like to read some names in the chat? Heck yes. Sweet. Thank you to Devil in 07, Gandalf the Babe, another TV viewer, Commander Root, J Velez 1199, uh, Missy Entity. I think I'm reading that correctly. And thank you for E Kangarang and uh, I think it's pronounced Ray Animation, Rai, Rai Animation. Either way, thank you, um, E. Kangarang and Rai Animation for following us. And uh, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up. We're, uh, we'd love to do any sort of collab, hangout, whatever. Yeah, we're yeah. down for most things. But thank you guys so much. We'll be back in two weeks with an all-new episode. Uh, we appreciate you guys bearing with us through all the technical difficulty. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to wear your mask if you're not vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, get your fucking vaccine, and we will see you guys all back here next time.